Uh, I rise to uh, make an amendment to uh, the bylaw recommendation two uh, by adding the words uh, that uh, shark fin possession of shark fin exclusively for bona fide research and education purposes. And the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, in uh, looking at the bylaws from California and uh, various other jurisdictions, they do do some grandfathering of possession of a uh, shark's fin. And uh, I'm aware that uh, there's an aquarium com coming in Toronto. And there's also museums and educational in institutions that may have a reason to possess the shark's fin. So I'm moving this to allow those establishments to continue to possess that. But again, they will have to prove their uh, bona fide reason for having it. And now to uh, the uh, recommendations themselves. The first recommendation is indeed for the federal government to take a look at the various uh, species of sharks and then to see which should be legal or illegal. At which point in time, once the federal government has made up its mind, because they've had uh, this in their sight line ever since 1994, if I'm not mistaken, when the finning of sharks was made legal in Canada. They've had 17 years to look at this issue, and it looks like uh, nothing much was done about it. So that's why I'm supporting the ban of this uh, shark's fin until the federal government has had time to take a look at this and ensure that we are not decimating our shark population in the ocean. Now the staff did say that uh, they identified clear concerns of shark finning industry. So which means that there's enough documented proof that finning is occurring. But because it's not happening in Canada, that's not, that, that's not make it easy for us to enforce. But when it's imported, we have no idea where those fins come from. So by this, taking this uh, bold step, and it is a bold step on our part, we are trying to force the issue because we are ultimately responsible for our planet. We are responsible for our future generations when I go out there and speak to various groups, now, some people propose to stand up and say that the Chinese are the ones that uh, do this. But the finning is not done by the Chinese. And when I ask around, even friends that I know that have eaten shark's fin in the past, have come and says it's not an issue to us. If you ban it, we'll accept it and not eat it. But it is not a Chinese culture. Because I've asked around, and in fact, most Chinese don't even eat it. They've done surveys in uh, China. And most of the Chinese in China don't even know what shark's fin is. It's a particular delicacy that's been developed, especially along the coast of China. And it's a very difficult thing to prepare. It needs a special chef to have learned the art of preparing shark's fin, to do a proper job in, do, in uh, making a good dish out of it. So based on my research and uh, have, I've ask around, I believe it's the right thing to do. So thank you very much, and I hope that you support the uh, motion.